Hey guys, so I haven't put up a video in a really long time. Again, I don't even know what my problem is. Um, life has been, like, way chaotic. <laughs> um, it seems like, you know, like, the saying, when it rains, it pours? Like, no, seriously, though. <laughs> it's like, one thing goes wrong, and then another, and then another, and then another, and then it's like a downpour before I can even, like, handle the first thing that happened, and it's just, um, it's been kind of crazy, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm strong, so I'm handling everything, and I'm getting through it, um, and, uh, I realized the other day that, like, um, I was, like, thinking about, you know, the last time I was just, like, really, really, really happy with, like, life, and, um, I just remember being really happy when I was making my, my YouTube videos and kind of interacting with you guys, and, um, I haven't been doing that as much, and I think that's been kind of, like, um, bringing my spirits down a little bit, so I'm gonna, um, I really want to try to be more consistent with this, I really do, um, I miss you guys, and I know I get a lot of encouraging messages from you guys and comments and Twitter tweets and things like that from you guys, um, asking for more videos and stuff like that, so I'm gonna work on it, I pinky promise you. Um, so I went to the dermatologist this morning at like 9 o'clock, it was so early, um, but I went and it took like 5 seconds, I really kind of hate going to the dermatologist because like I feel like they don't do anything, they just kind of like look at you, like she just like looked at my face for like 2 seconds and started prescribing me things and was like come back in 2 months if this doesn't work then we're going to put you on Accutane, um, so I don't know, but she prescribed me a bunch of stuff, so first thing is a pill called Dorix. I don't know if that's even how you say it, but I'm supposed to take one every day. Can I just show you how large these pills are? I had to break it in half, and half was still, like, way too big, and I'm really good at swallowing pills. Um, that sounds weird. That makes me sound like a drug addict. I'm not a drug addict. I just don't have a problem swallowing pills. That is huge! That's, like, two of my teeth, and I have real big teeth! I don't know. It's large. I'm not a fan, but uh, I have to take one of these a day. Um, and then for the morning, I have these pads, Eerie pads, E-R-Y, I don't know, Eerie 2% pad. I don't know what, what's in it, but they put the sticker over the thing that, like, tells me what's in it. But they're just, like, little pads that I use in the morning. Now, well, I will start tomorrow. Um, and then I got a face wash, which I can use twice a day or once a day. I'll probably use it twice. Um, and it's just a benzoyl peroxide topical wash. I don't know what the, oh, it's like benzoyl peroxide 5% wash. I don't know. All this stuff costs way, way, way much money though. Like $70 for all of this. And then this, um, gel, um, it's Epiduo, Epiduo gel that I have to put on once before bed. Um, I'm just done you know, problem areas, so I have to try all this stuff out, and if all else fails, she's going to put me on Accutane, which I hope this works, because I don't really want to go on Accutane. I've heard it do some really good things for people, but then I've also heard some really, like, negative, um, side effects, I don't know, so it just makes me a little bit nervous. But anyway, yeah, so then I figured I would, um, kind of switch up my foundation and everything, um, because... I've been using the, the Revlon Color Stay for the normal and dry skin, but lately my skin, my skin has been getting super oily. Um, I don't know why, but it has been, and it's, it really bugs me. I hate when my skin feels and looks oily. So, um, and, you know, with all the, the acne that I've been having, I figured I would switch to something a little bit better. And last time I went to the dermatologist last year, she recommended that I use All My Clear Complexion. And I had it, but I didn't like it because I felt like it didn't match up with my skin nicely and I felt like I looked chalky. Um, I'm using it in 320, which is honey, and I don't know if this is the color that I used last time because I probably threw it out. I don't think I still have it. Oh, I do still have it. See, I was using the wrong, I was using this color. I was using 220 Natural. And I guess honey is just darker, so I guess this just wasn't, you know a good match for my skin and that's probably why it looked the way it did. So I'm just going to give it another try. It has um, 0.6% salicylic acid and it's supposed to heal blemishes while you wear it. So, And I wear the concealer. I've, I've been using this for like maybe two years now on and off. I really love this concealer. So I just picked up this um, and I picked up 
some moisturizer, which is also something that the dermatologist from last year recommended, and they use it in everyday protection. And I like this because it's lightweight and it has SPF 30 in it, so I put on SPF on my face every single day, which is really good, even if it's not sunny and even when it is cold, because the sun is still out reflecting on your face. So you want to protect. Um, and then I picked up one of these. Um, the Revlon Moisture Renew Lip Glosses, because I didn't know these came out yet, um, and they did, and I love the lipsticks, so I'm a huge fan of the lipsticks, so I got the lip gloss, and I got it in, what is it called, Pink Protect or something like that? Pink Protect, which I don't, that's kind of like a weird name, but this is the color, and it's got some like shimmeries in there, like silver shimmer, um, it's pretty, it says with collagen, vitamins A, C, and E. Um, it's got SPF 15 in it, so that's kind of cool. I like the applicator. It's a doe foot, but it's really, like, flexible. So when you put it on, it kind of, like, flicks across your lips. I, I just kind of like that. <laughs> and then, oh, no, I forgot this. Oh, and I picked up a NYX um, cream blush because I love cream blushes, um, especially the NYX ones. And they changed the packaging on these. This is, like, raised up. Um, I don't know if you can tell. The old ones aren't. And I put an old one on today. One of my old ones. Natural. Right? Oh, T Rose. My bad. See, this is the old packaging, and this is the new packaging. Oh, there's a glare. I'm sorry. New packaging is so pretty, so I had to get me one. So I got Boho Chic, which I love. So that's it for makeup. And then I just picked up, like, two brushes. I picked up a Sakara um, Nylon Foundation Brush. And I've only seen these brushes at, um,. Harman's, and I have some of their, I don't know where they are right now because I'm such a mess. Oh, here's one. I have, like, their eyeshadow brushes. Like, this is the medium eyeshadow brush. I have two medium ones and, and one large one, and I use the medium ones for the crease and the large ones just for other things. Um, but they're really cheap. Those brushes are, like, two dollars $2 and change, maybe. So I got this. This is the, the foundation brush, but I'm not going to use it for foundation. This is really small for foundation. I'm going to use it for concealer, actually, um, because I've been using a foundation brush to put in my concealer, but it's, like, really big, so I figured I'd get a slightly smaller one to kind of blend in my concealer. Um, let's get that. And then I picked up this Posh, um, powder brush. I've had, I think I have a Posh brush, or I did at one point. I don't know. But it's just a big fluffy powder brush. It's super soft. And this was like $12. And then last thing is just a new paddle brush because um, mine kind of got like melted with my blow dryer. Um, because I've been using my paddle brush to do my hair for part of like my hair. For like the top layers I use a round brush and the bottom layers I just kind of go through with this in the blow dryer. And I guess my old brush couldn't stand the heat so all the bristles started to kind of like melt. Um, so I just picked up a new one. And this was like $9.99. It's by Luxor. Luxor Pro. I don't know. But it's just a brand that they have there. So yeah, and I'm actually going to move over to the mirror to do an outfit of the day because I really like my outfit, and this is also kind of part of the haul because I bought it a couple days ago at work and I never got to show you guys, so let's go over to the mirror. <laughs> okay, so my room is a mess, kind of. I just straightened it a little bit, um, like, a little bit, seriously. Um, <laughs> so as far as makeup goes, as you can see, like, my eye right here, I just kind of have, like, a neutral, neutral eye going on here. Um, black liner, black mascara, um, like a nude lip gloss, and just, I have a cream blush going on, like a natural color cream, cream blush. My hair is just, you know, how it always is. And this is my outfit, the full view. These are heels. These are nude pumps. Um, so everything I'm wearing is from Wet Seal, except for my shoes. My shoes are candies from Kohl's. My mom, I wanted a pair of nude pumps, and my mom was at Kohl's one day while I was at work. And, um, she saw these and was like, oh, this is what Laurent was looking for. It's like the perfect heel height for me. So she bought them for me. <laughs> she was very sweet of her. So, um, this, you know, little black, like, bat wing. It's like a dolman, a dolman sleeve. Um, kind of cardigan. This is from Wet Seal. Like I said, everything is. I don't remember how much it was, but whatever. And, um, this is like this, this beige romper. And then my necklace is like this owl. He's so cute, right? Um, and then just kind of like a black lace tight. I like the lines. 
kind of make you look taller. Not that I really need to be any taller. I'm already, like, 5'8". Um, so, yeah, and I kind of just, like, was flipping through nylon and saw a girl wearing a romper, and I was like, I really need a romper for spring. And then I kind of, in my head, just put together this whole outfit and was like, I have to go buy it at work tomorrow. So we did. And my manager loved it, and all the girls I work with thought it was super cute before they even got to see it on. So now I have to take a picture, um, to show them what it looked like. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, about to go to class. And, um, hang out with my boy later. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I promise to have more videos up for you. So, bye guys!